morning, everyone. It's Pastor Dan again with uh, devotions for this morning. We are on day 32 of Eastertide, and our invitation for this week comes from Psalm 126. If you're able, just take a moment or so to just, uh, yeah, step away from whatever you're doing and relax and have a listen. Our mouths were filled with laughter our tongues with songs of joy. The Lord has done great things for us, and we are filled with joy. Our Bible song for today comes from Psalm 96, verses 1 to 6 and 11 to 13. Sing to the Lord a new song, Sing to the Lord, all the earth. Sing to the Lord. Praise his name. Proclaim his salvation day after day. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous deeds among the peoples. For great is the Lord, and most worthy of praise. He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Splendor and majesty are before him, strength and glory are in his sanctuary. Let the heavens rejoice, let the earth be glad, let the sea resound and all that is in it, let the fields be jubilant and everything in them, let all the trees of the forest sing for joy, let all creation rejoice before the Lord, for he comes, he comes to judge the earth, he will judge the world in righteousness and the peoples in faithfulness. And then our Bible reading comes from 1 Peter 2, verses 2 to 8. Like newborn babies crave pure spiritual milk, so that by it you may grow up in your salvation, now that you have tasted that the Lord is good. As you come to him, the living stone rejected by human beings but chosen by God and precious to him, you also, like living stones, are being built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, offering spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For in Scripture it says, See, I lay a stone in Zion, a chosen and precious cornerstone, and the one who trusts in him will never be put to shame. Now, to you who believe, this stone is precious, but the, to those who do not believe, the stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone, and a stone that causes people to stumble, and a rock that makes them fall. As I read through these words, what popped out to me was um, the beautiful spring uh, weather that we're having. I mean, it's you know, been snowing in May uh, here the last couple of days a little bit, but that being said, uh, there's beautiful sun in the sky and many of the trees are starting to have their leaves and uh, the birds are singing away and uh, I just think of the whole earth uh, rejoicing and praising the name of the Lord. But I also see that reality that we are, for those of us who believe, um, and that's not to, you know, that's only due to God and His grace and working in our lives, but to those who uh, believe, Jesus is a, a cornerstone, someone uh, on whom we build our lives. But for those who don't um, yet, then it could be a real excuse me, a real stumbling block to, <clears throat> to have to deal with Jesus and his reality. Um, that can be pretty tough. Let's pray. Most High God, you take ordinary people and anoint them into service in your temple. May I be, may we be, living stones in your church today, so that our every word and our thoughts and actions 
may be a sacrifice of praise to you. Amen. Receive now God's blessing. Keep yourself in God's love as you wait for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ to bring you to eternal life. Be blessed. We'll see you tomorrow.